Hey boys, thought I'd do a video for you real quick. I wanted just to say hi and let you know what I was thinking about you. Been praying for all you guys. So I'm working out in my shop during this quarantine time. I know it's tough, I really miss you guys and just wanted to do a little video here real quick and uh, say hi, tell you how much I love you and miss you. So while I'm home, I'm working on a woodworking project, uh, which is a workbench. I've been wanting to build myself a workbench for a long, long time. And so I'm putting my woodworking tools to use and putting a woodworking, uh, some of my woodworking skills together to start my, my workbench that I've been wanting to build for a long, long time. So, so one of the things I have in my shop is, shop is a table saw that was made in 1954. No, I'm not that old. I was born in 1964. That table saw is 10 years old, Ryan. And I love old tools. And so I'm using that to do some sawing of some wood. As you can see in the floor back there, I've got some of it already glued up. I'm also using a couple of tools. This is called a joiner. It makes nice square edges on wood. And this is called a planer, which makes wood a consistent thickness. So it's a thickness planer and a joiner. And then I'm using my table saw. And there's my dogs, they help out. So all my tools are on wheels because my shop is kind of small. So there I have my joiner rolled out, ready to do some work. It puts wood at a very square edge right down that line. It uses those blades to make a nice straight edge on it. Okay, now that, now that I got a nice straight edge on my boards, I use my table saw to cut these to right width and you can hear the noise in the background is my dust collector I hate vacuuming so all of my machines are connected to that dust collector okay now I have to cut to cut my boards to the proper length so I've got my miter saw set up in my shop my board braced by a stand again I hate vacuuming so I got my vacuum hose connected to my saw I love that vacuum. So now I have my board ready to cut the link. You can see, got a nice little cool laser marker there, marking my line. Nice little hold down clamp here on my saw. So this becomes my cross cut. is that our equipment is set uh, correctly so that when we make a cut it becomes a nice square cut so look at this fit right there on my square gauge you don't see any gaps Okay, I think cut to length and ready to go. This is my clamp up. Just checking the fit of these boards and now put some glue between them and clamp them up for good. So now I got my glue kind of spread out there and I'm gonna smooth it out. Kind of like making a sandwich. You're probably wondering, what are all those hole, those slots in there? Well, when this becomes the top of my workbench, those slots right there will become where clamps go. Clamps on top of a workbench are called bench dogs. So I guess this is a dog bench. No, I'm kidding. I don't want to get the glue to the edges of the bench dog holes because then it'll be all messy. I don't like messy glue and I don't like a vacuum. I 
Okay. It's like a sandwich ready to go. So there it is all glued up. Let it dry for a while. We'll do one more. So I'll keep some pictures together and maybe show you guys when I get done. Also been working on uh, our food drive, trying to figure out you know, the best plan to go ahead and collect food while we're in quarantine. And then when we get back together, we'll have it ready to go and to helping hands. So I've been doing a little math here, trying to figure out exactly how we're gonna meet this challenge. I know I told you that uh, if we did a thousand items, I'd maybe throw you a little pizza party. So I've been doing a little math, trying to figure out how many items you guys need to collect between now and the time we might be able to get back together. And uh, I'm gonna show you that. So I was having, having a little trouble with my math because I know between now and when they say we gotta finish our lockdown, well, it's about seven weeks. And I know on average we got about 50 boys, and I told you there's a thousand item challenge, so I figured it, their first um, be about 350,000 days to uh, get all those collected. Something's wrong with my math. So then I try to, you know, try to work on my math because I didn't think that was right. So I figured that maybe I had it kind of a little backwards and then tried again and turned out to be about 7,042 days to collect a thousand items. I think I had my bath backwards. Did I say I had my bath backwards? I think I had my math backwards. Then I, then I tried again. Figured out uh, maybe it would take about 140 days. We don't have 140 days. So then, so then I, I tried to go back to my basics. And so here it goes. We got about seven weeks. 50 boys, we need to collect a thousand items. If you do the higher, higher math, you're gonna figure out that each one of us has to make about 2.85 items each week. And if we do that, we will have a thousand items by the time the proposed shelter in place order is over. That's basically three items per boy, next seven weeks, pizza time. I just want to uh, throw this challenge out there. You guys get started. I'll put out a list of stuff you need to collect over the next seven weeks. That'll put us basically to the end of May. Hopefully we'll be all back and going and we'll have a thousand items, pizza party, Dr. Peppers. But also I want to encourage you during this time to uh, spend some time you know, reading your Bible, praying. Our missionaries overseas certainly need us to be praying for them. Uh, if times weren't bad enough uh, prior to the coronavirus, that uh, times are really tough for them now. Our missionaries are struggling just to be overseas, not to mention trying to carry out their ministry. So be praying for all our missionaries that are um, overseas with the International Mission Board. And keep studying your RE pledge and doing everything you do to be the best royal ambassador you can be around you. Okay, and love your families during this time. And I'll be praying for you. Love you guys.